Hello YouTube, Salivate Metal here, and in a rare situation where I don't talk about precious metals, let's take a look at the strange activity of this moth on Eclipse Day, August 21st, 2017. And so this is a small little video diary describing my day experiencing the eclipse. And look at this furry little creature. No, it's not a soft teak and cuddly kitty, but it's the next best thing. It's a moth. And a very soft and cuddly little moth, but I can't really cuddle with it because it's just sitting there on the outside of the glass. So I thought I'd get a little video of it here to take a look at it to see how strange creatures act in the times of an eclipse such as this. So there it is. Very, very interesting. Very detailed creature here. Can you imagine this on a coin? The design of a moth? Look at all the intricate detail on that. Imagine the frosted fur in this antennae. Imagine that on a coin, gold or silver. It doesn't matter if it looked great all around. But this creature was just kind of sitting there, tapping on the glass or anything like that. Really doesn't get it to move. Uh, eventually, the creature did go away, but it did take quite some time after the finished recording this. But let's see if we can get in and see the eyes of this creature. Very, very nice indeed. Very furry. I wouldn't think I'd like to have that thing... Uh, um, in the house for sure that's better there outside in my opinion but nonetheless i thought maybe my viewers would find it intriguing to see the detail and maybe just appreciate mother nature sometimes it's really cool and of course we as collectors we like to see why well, when we see things of fascination such as this we wonder well what would this look like on a coin and so that's kind of what i think about anyway at least and I assume that probably some of you do as well. Look at that detail in the wing. Very nice markings there, for sure. Beautiful. Very, very fascinating. Very fascinating creature indeed. So there it is in all of its glory. Different angles. There's a better view of the eye that we can see there. Very, very nice. A little blurry there. But nonetheless, it was quite a day. So... Curious to see how many of you experienced the eclipse. I uh, I know I uh, was just trying to find ways to, to view it. I didn't actually get the glasses because I was worried about uh, you know the some of the recalls from some of them out there. But I did find some people that had did have some and was able to view through theirs. And uh, so they're very very nice indeed. So we will we will definitely um, enjoy this piece of history this day viewing the eclipse and many different ways to view the eclipse it showed up in the in the leaves of trees with the shadows where the leaves fell on the ground you can see the crescents there which was really cool and getting a video of that check this out however i did get a video of it looking through a pinhole mirror of it projected onto the wall as you can see here so it was quite fascinating to see the crescent there and how you can view it uh, indirectly through a mirror um through a pinhole type contraption and have it project there on the wall it was a quite a quite a, a an interesting time and an interesting um, piece of history i've never seen an eclipse that uh in close before or that intense with that kind of uh coverage over the sun with the moon there and they say the moon is moving further away from the earth every year like an inch a year so in time Maybe millions of years from now, uh, a, a total eclipse will not totally cover the sun. But as for now, it does. So it's uh, pretty cool to see uh, that kind of thing. And uh, so anyways, I was able to borrow some glasses from a friend. And I was able to view the eclipse through the glasses, which was really cool. And uh, so I wonder how many of you were able to do that as well. It was quite fun and fascinating to be able to see it and uh, to be able to witness that history for sure. But what I did try to do was I tried to put the glasses over my recording device here and capture it. But I was not able to get the crescent uh, look through it. But you can see that it's a little bit dark around it, but not too much there. By this time, the crescent had kind of uh, 
uh, broadened up a bit, but it was uh, very, you couldn't capture it there, unfortunately, and uh, capturing it through the lens of the camera and the actual um, using the filter on top of it. But nonetheless, it was quite fun. It was an exciting day. It was all the rage, and rightfully so. And for once, it kind of brought Americans together because this was something that did uh, in totality cross uh, America, although where I was at, it wasn't in total. But nonetheless, post your thoughts below. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching. I encourage you to please rate, comment, and subscribe.